Hey, what's wrong with your eyes? My eyes? Yes. Are you okay? I don't feel well. Last night, I haven't been able to get a good night's sleep. What happened to you? My baby daughter cried all night. Mary and I seem to stay up all night taking care of her. Is she ten months old? Yes. Does she have a fever? Luckily, she didn't have a fever. She slept well this morning. But I and my wife are exhausted. Taking care of a baby is not easy, right? Can you help me? Jack, can you help me? Okay. I'm trying to print a file, but the printer won't work. You see the button on the printer? So? You must turn on the printer before you want to print it. How? Press the button to turn it on. It is currently off. Oh, sure, silly me. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Jack, can you help me? What's wrong? I type on the keyboard and nothing happens. Press the power button to restart your laptop. Okay. It works. Thanks, Jack. Nothing at all. Taking a cab. Excuse me. I'm sorry I have to go. But this is my cab. I really have to go now. Urgent matter. You can't do that. <gasps> Honestly, I can't believe it. Hi. Where are you going? Number 7 Collins Street, please. Sure. Put on your seatbelt, please. Okay. How long will it take to get there? It's not far, about 15 minutes. Great, thanks. Is it okay if I open a window? Sure, no problem. Here we go. It's fast. The total price is $15. $20. Keep the change. Thank you for the tip. Have a nice day. Goodbye. I hate to get up. What is your favorite activity? I love searching and watching YouTube videos, especially about fashion. And you? I like to read books and jot down good quotes in my notebook. That's great. What activities do you not like? That's taking tests and homework. There's one more thing that you definitely hate. What is that? Get up in the morning. Oh, I hate to get up. Especially every morning when I get up early to go to school. I hate alarm bells. Yes, it's scarier than horror movies. A hot day. I've only been out for five minutes and I'm sweating a lot. It's hot today. The weather forecast says that. Yeah, hot day. I guess it must be over 95 degrees outside. Maybe. It's roasting. I feel like a chicken in the oven. Would you like a nice lemonade? Thank you. You are an angel. You should take a bath or go swimming. I will. I want winter to come soon. I enjoy the winter, but it gets really cold sometimes. But I'd rather be cold than hot. Phone Out of Order, Part 1 Mom, may I borrow your phone? For what, son? I want to play the puzzle game. But my phone can't load that game, and yours can! Okay, 15 minutes. 
Thanks, Mom. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you hiding something? You were playing a game. Yes. What game is that? The puzzle game. That sounds interesting. Let me join. Okay. You did it wrong. Give it to me. No, I'm playing. Give me the phone. Never. Oh, oh no. no. The phone is out of order. Whose phone is that? Sam, I need my phone. Oh, oh no. no. Phone out of order, part two. Look, Andy, that's Angel. Do you like her? Yeah, she's so pretty. You have to go over there and ask for her Facebook account. Can I? Yes, be confident. Go and ask her. Okay. Hi, I'm Victor. We take the same piano class. Maybe you don't know me, but I know you. Can I make friends with you on Facebook? Okay. What's wrong? Oh, sorry, my phone is out of order. It's okay. Here's my phone number. Thank you. See you later, Victor. <gasps> she knows me. Getting a visa. I really want to travel abroad. You need to get a visa. I know. How to book my visa interview at the embassy. First, complete the DS-160 form online. Can you share the link? Of course. What's next? Visit the embassy website and select the embassy nearest to you. You need to schedule a visa interview. I must prepare a lot of things already. Yes. And you must pay the application fee. Then the embassy will schedule your appointment. I got it. Finally, attend your visa interview and pick up your passport with your visa. I have to do it now. Employing a new member. What are you watching? Profiles of candidates. Which position? Graphic design. Are there any suitable candidates? There are two impressive profiles. Who are they? They're familiar with design software and technologies, such as InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop. But... What's wrong? A person has a lot of experience in degrees in design and fine arts. Great. What about the other person? She doesn't have much experience. But I love how she designed her resume, her profiles. And how she showed her enthusiasm for the position. You should interview both. And make the final decision. Right. I'll call them right now. A date. You need a necklace. Linda! Look, you are the most beautiful girl tonight. Good luck on your first date. Thank you. Peter, which shirt is better, white or black? Uh, the white shirt makes you more attractive. This is my first date, I'm nervous. Be confident. It's been an hour, where is she? Where are you now? Who's calling? Violet Smith. Oh, I forgot about her date. I'm busy now. I'll call back. Don't call. I won't pick up. Bye. <gasps> Hi. I'm Andrew. 
You're so beautiful. I mean, may I invite you to dinner? Sorry, you must be waiting for your friends. No, I came here alone. May I? Thank you. What did you do yesterday? Good morning, Bella. Good morning, Alex. How was your weekend? Nothing special. I woke up at 8 a.m., I brushed my teeth, took a bath, and had a cup of milk. I helped my mother make lunch and went shopping with my family in the evening. What did you do yesterday? My grandfather and I studied insects in his garden. Interesting. What kind of insects are there? Butterflies, beetles, crickets, ants, and caterpillars. Are they scary? Nah, they're cute. Let's go to my grandpa's house this Sunday. I'll show you. Great. I can't wait. Traveling by air. Do you like to travel by air? Yes, I really enjoy traveling by air. Why? Because it's fast, safe, and convenient. Gives me a great view out the front window. Do you often travel by air? About twice a year, I guess. Have you traveled by air recently? Yes, I traveled to Australia. It took around 18 hours. How about you? Sadly, I still haven't traveled by air. I wish to travel all over my country and then visit beautiful places in the world. What is the first country you want to visit? Switzerland. It's a beautiful place. Is there anything else you require? I asked you to prepare a meeting with our guests this afternoon. How's everything? The meeting is all set, sir. I have prepared enough seats and water for the guests in the meeting room. I also asked Mary to be the company tour guide today. Is there anything else that you require? Wow, seems perfect, I guess. What is the upcoming schedule? We will have a meeting with the marketing department. I'm impressed, Luke. Keep doing your best like this. Thank you, sir. I'll try my best. Is this what you want? Lucy, are you upstairs? Yes, I am. What's up? Can you find a pink purse for me in my room? Pink purse? Where is it? It's in the closet. All right. Is this what you want? Oh, no. This is not the pink purse that I want. I could see three pink purses in your closet. It was really confusing to me to choose the right one. I need to contact the client right now, so could you please return it to the closet for me? Okay! Is there anything else I can help with? Welcome to our shop, sir. How can I help you? Good evening. I really like some of the t-shirts in your shop, so I'd like to look around. We're glad you like our items. Please enjoy your shopping time and tell me when you need help. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? I want this orange t-shirt in a larger size. This one is a medium. Do you want me to bring a large one for you? Yes, please. Is there anything less expensive? Hello? Yes, madam. What can I do for you? 
I really like this dress, but it's too costly. Is there anything less expensive? Well, this dress is in our new winter collection. So maybe its price is a little bit high. However, there will be a lot of items sold up to 50% off at the end of this season. If you are still interested, you can come back to get this dress at a cheaper price later. Sounds good! However, I need a dress to go to my friend's birthday party tonight. Any other suggestions? <laughs> How about this purple body dress? It's cheaper than the dress you saw before. And it makes you look sexier. That's not too bad. I'll consider this one. Is that your brother there? Hey, let's look at our family trip photos. Oh, you met the trip last week with your and my family? Yeah, the trip near the lake, remember? I want to see our beautiful photos again. Okay, sure. Let me open my laptop. Wow, look at the family photo. Everyone looks so happy. Yeah. Wait. Is that your brother there? Yes, that's him. I don't know why he chose to stand between us. His face was so funny. Ah, you're right. Oh, look at the lake. There were some ducks that wanted to join us. Ah, wow. They're so cute. We should have taken more photos. What day of the week is the 1st of May? Do you remember Tracy's birthday? I think it's in May, but I forgot what day it is. Her birthday is on May 1st. Really? That's next week. What day of the week is the 1st of May? It's a Saturday. I'm free that day. Maybe we can make a birthday cake for her. That's a good idea. We should hold a surprise party for her. Should we buy flowers? Tracy loves flowers so much. Sounds amazing. I can go out and buy them for her. I can bake a cake. So maybe I will try to distract her so that you guys will have time to prepare. What a perfect plan! So, what exactly are you looking for? What are you going to buy today? I want to buy a gift for my best friend. She will turn 20 this weekend. Alright, what gift do you think she will like? I'm considering clothes and jewelry. I think maybe you can buy something that your friend needs. Which one does she need more, clothes or jewelry? I think she needs both. So, what exactly are you looking for? I think we should go to the jewelry store. Does your friend like rings? Yes! But she's wearing the one that her boyfriend gave her. Ah, uh, how about necklaces? Hey, that's a brilliant idea. She doesn't have a necklace yet. Good to hear that. I know an accessory store with a lot of good items. We should visit there. Let's go. So what should I put on? Hey, Daniel, I need your help. What's the matter? I'm going on a date with Mary tonight. Can you help me choose the perfect outfit? Is this your first date? Yeah, exactly. And I don't know what I should wear. What about a navy or a black shirt? It makes you look more manly. Good idea. 
And what should I wear on the bottom? Jeans or casual pants? Hmm. If I were you, I'd go for jeans. So, what should I put on? Just put on both and let's see which one is better. So, what's on your mind? What's wrong, Anna? Are you thinking about something? You look tired. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing. So, what's on your mind? I'm thinking about eating out or cooking at home. If you ate out, what would you eat? No idea. Maybe fast food? It's quite unhealthy, you know. And yesterday, you already had pizza. Yeah, you're right. But I'm too lazy to cook. Do you want to go to a veggie restaurant? No, I just want to eat meat now. So would you like to go to a hot pot restaurant? I love that idea. Let's go. Were there any difficulties? Hi, Jane. How's your preparing for your English presentation on Monday? Were there any difficulties? Well, I already finished every slide, but somehow I'm not ready to present my ideas. Do you want me to take a look? Yes, please. And can I practice presenting with you? Sure, why not? Can you set the timer for five minutes for me? Your presentation will start in one, two, three. Thank you for your attention. Wow, perfect. I could understand everything perfectly. Really? What do you think I need to improve? Maybe you should speak more slowly and louder. Okay, got it. To accept. Noelia, I am so sorry. Are you okay? I think so. That was lucky. Please accept my apologies. I didn't see you. That's all right. No, no. I should have been paying attention. Luckily, you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. No worries. It was both of us, honestly. Hey, I saved the laptop, though. Why are you so rushed? I'm going to the teacher's room now. I need to meet Miss Jane before she leaves. Are there any problems with your assignment? Yes. I submitted it last night, but she hasn't received it yet. So I failed. Oh my gosh, you should be quick. Okay, bye. To brush. Good morning, Rena. Have breakfast before leaving for school. Okay, Mom. Let me brush my teeth and wash my hands quickly. Okay, but don't take too long, otherwise you will miss your school bus. I know, Mom. I won't take long. What's for breakfast? I made egg sandwiches and I packed some for your lunch, too. It's delicious! Thanks for breakfast, Mom! Can you pass me the juice, please? I'm late for work. Get it yourself. Don't forget to take your lunch with you. I will pick you up from school around 2 p.m. Okay, Mom! Have a great day! Bye! You have a great day, too. Bye. I will see you later. To capture.
What is that song? A new song from the movie Wednesday. That sounds cool. Yeah, the playlist of that movie is really incredible. Really? Show me. Yes, here, you should listen. These songs capture the mood of the movie. Mate, that's why it's part of the original soundtrack. Well, have you seen that movie? Not yet. Is it as good as their songs? It depends. There are many different reviews of that movie. Some rate it five stars, but some think it is overrated. I should watch it. Yes. Anyway, it is a good movie in my opinion. To decorate. Did you attend Thomas' wedding last week? Yes, I did. Did he invite you? I didn't see you there. He did. But I was on a business trip. I couldn't return on that day. What a pity. It was the biggest wedding I have ever seen. I saw some pictures on the internet. It was so luxurious. Yeah. The reception was decorated with fresh flowers and leaves. Wow. Unbelievable. How about the getaway car? It was a modern car. They decorated the wedding car with ribbons and flowers. Then they drove it to enjoy their honeymoon right after the night party. That's perfect. To explain. Hey James, would you do me a favor please? Sure, what do you need? I'm researching the guitar club at the university. You're a member of that club, right? Yes. Do you also want to join? Yep. But there are some things I don't really understand. Wait a sec. I will send you our website so that you can have a look at it. That's great. You are so kind. My pleasure. If there's anything you don't understand, I'd be happy to explain. Can I find the registration form on the website? Yes. You can fill it out and submit it online. Thank you. I will. To guess. You look so happy. You must have won the game. Absolutely. Guess what? We won four to zero. Wow. Perfect. We're going to have a party tonight. Do you want to join us? I would like to, but I'd better stay at home. Why? You don't like my teammates? No, I like them. They're all friendly. It's because of me. I don't feel so good. What happened? Are you sick? No, I'm just a bit tired. Perhaps it's because of the weather. Do you need to take some medicine? I will go to the drugstore and buy it for you. No, I just need to rest. Everything will be fine. Okay, I will come home early for you. Don't worry about me. Enjoy a championship with your teammates. To handle. What's going on with the project? I am trying to finish it on time. What do you mean? You told me you've tried many times. When do you think you can complete it? I'm not sure. It is really a difficult task. If you can't handle the job, I'll get someone else to do it. 
No, no, I can. I just need some more time to finish it. Okay, I trust you. Recently, you haven't been focused on your tasks well. What is your problem? My son is sick, and he has been in the hospital for two weeks. I'm so sorry because my personal things affect our work. I understand. I know it is a hard time for you. But the project is also important for our company. You should balance work and life issues. I know. I'm so sorry. To inform. Hello? Yeah, what's up? What's up what? Where are you now? I'm home. What? Oh my god. I'm at the train station. We have the plan to have a picnic today, don't we? We did, but Mr. Tom has an urgent meeting today, so we moved it to next week. Oh my god. Why wasn't I informed about this earlier? What? I thought everyone knew that. No, I didn't. Two days ago, Mr. Tom came at lunchtime and informed us about the reschedule. Oh my. I went to the bookstore at lunchtime that day. Oh my. I'm so sorry. You can come to my house. I'll go to the cinema in the afternoon. I'm not in the mood for that. I'd better go home now. To forgive. If you could help me with this, I'd sure be grateful. Sure, what is that? It's a teddy bear that I need to wrap for my girlfriend. Oh, uh, I'm not very good at wrapping things. No worries, I'm not very good at it either. It's the thought that counts. Okay. I decided to give this to say, sorry. For forgetting that we were going to the movies last night. Hopefully she will forgive me. I know. She called me and was pretty upset. What were you doing that made you forget? Playing World of Warcraft. Ah, yeah. You deserve it. If my boyfriend had stood me up because of a video game, I would also be so angry too. I wouldn't have forgotten if it hadn't been for that game. To join. Hi. Hello. You guys are playing basketball? Yes. Yes, we are. May I join your game? Sure. We could use an extra player anyway. Come join our side because we are one player down. Great. Thanks for letting me play. Do you know the rules? Hmm. I know most of the rules. Are there any rules in your game that I should know about? All the usual rules. You can watch as we play and work it out. It's just a fun game, so don't take it seriously. Cool, I can handle that. Let's play. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.